everybody. Sorry, I just, I'm just warming up this morning. Hope you're having a great, great time and ready to walk. I'm Chris Parente, morning anchor here at Channel 2 News, and I am thrilled to get the blood pumped and the legs moving, and I know you are as well, all a part of the American Heart Association's Denver Heart and Stroke Digital Walk. Yep, we're going to do it a little different this year as we did last year, the digital walk. And I know it's not the same as getting together in person, but you know what? We're still going to make a big difference. And I'm telling you what, down the line, once we are back together again, I'll be there with you. Feel the burn. I am a known power walker, especially for a cause as noble and awesome as this one. So let me tell you, we're coming together today, of course, to celebrate what you've done with your family, with your business, with your company, all of us, to improve the heart health of the Denver community. And before we kick things off and head out and do our walk, I do want to give a big thanks to Ardent Mills. They've helped kick the day off right with two different healthy breakfast options. you got to fuel your body. We know that. So thank you to Ardent Mills for that. Now, here's a good point. Because we're doing things differently and we're all kind of in different spaces, we do want to see what you're doing, where you're walking, and what you're at. So it's important for you to post pictures and follow AHA on Facebook, that is at AHA Colorado. Like the page, follow it. That way you can also participate in all the fun activities we got going on today. That's gonna be cool. And also, don't forget to share your videos and your pictures on that Facebook wall. We wanna see that. You can use the hashtag Denver Heart Walk. I'll say it again, hashtag Denver Heart Walk. We know you have a lot of fun uh, team names, your company, your business. Many of the names are funny, some of them are poignant. We want to see all of it. So hashtag those pictures, post them on Facebook, and make sure that you set the option to public so that we can actually share them on our pages as well. It's going to be so much fun. And a shout out to every single one of you for being what we like to call the heart hero. It means a lot to us. So last but certainly not least, I want to thank all the amazing sponsors of the Denver Heart and Stroke Walk. Today would not be possible without you. So. We have Denver Heart and Stroke Walk presented by Ardent Mills and Delta Dental. In addition, we want to thank our amazing media partners. We have Denver Live Magazine, Fox 31, and of course, Colorado's own Channel 2. So, I've done enough talking. Well, this is not the talk walk. We know that. So without further ado, I... Uh, Chris Trummer, you got drums over there? No, he doesn't. I can't do a drum roll. But without further ado, here we go. It is time to kick off the amazing event. Y'all, let's get going. Hey, good morning. I'm Dion McMillan, and I'm the Executive Vice President of Corporate Communications and Chief People Officer for Summit Materials. It has been an absolute honor to serve as the Heart Challenge Chair this year. I'm thrilled you have joined us for the Denver Heart and Stroke Walk digital celebration. Although we can't physically be together, I'm looking forward to seeing many ways that our communities are moving to stay active um, in support of the American Heart Association. I'm coming to you here live from my home in Denver. You will likely see one of my four dogs make a debut appearance. They can't do a Zoom without showing their faces. But I'm going to get out later this afternoon in my own neighborhood. And it's a, it's a bit of a spectacle to see when I'm trying to walk all four dogs. But I'm going to get out and move in my community this afternoon, too. Well, I know this is not the way that we had planned on celebrating the Heart Walk this year. We will not be deterred from our mission to be a relentless force for longer and healthier lives. We are here today to protect the hearts that we love. Our mission continues and it's more important than ever. The funds we raise today are funding education that's helping our communities be healthier and critical research to help us better understand the heart and brain implications of COVID-19 on heart and stroke patients. Today, we're reminded that physical activity, it is an absolute critical part of a healthy lifestyle, not only to prevent heart disease and stroke, but also to improve personal well-being. As many of us are spending our days at home, sticking to those fitness goals, this can lead to better sleep, lower stress and anxiety, and improved cognition. I encourage you to find ways to keep moving and have your family join you or family and your fur babies as well. I plan to get out. I'm going to walk today in my neighborhood. You're going to see my photos on social media. I'll make sure to get all four of my dogs on there as well. And I want you to be able to share all the photos with the hashtag Denver Park Walk. 
Before we announce our top supporters, let's take a moment to remember why we all originally signed up to participate in the Denver Heart and Stroke Walk. Let's hear from Owen and his wonderful family. They Owen was born, they all had a C-section and then they uh, did the usual tests and immediately when they had the stethoscope on his heart, I was standing right next to the uh, nurse and she went, oh, that's not good. So that wasn't the best thing I've ever heard. When I was pregnant with Owen, um, my husband and I did not know uh, of any conditions that he may have when he was born. So it was quite a shock when Owen was born and they found out that he had a heart murmur. The way it works in our valley, we don't have any pediatric cardiology help. So they did an echo, but the echo was sent to Denver. And then once they saw his conditions, they called and they say, Owen needs to be back in Denver as soon as possible. So he ended up uh, in an ambulance. My husband needed to drive because he couldn't go in the ambulance with him. I was by him myself at the hospital and they wouldn't let me out because I had a C-section. And the scariest thing was that during that whole transition to the hospital in Denver, there was always a risk that Owen could lose his left leg. So we didn't know if that was gonna happen either. Everything was up in the air. Very much a shock, like, how could that happen? You know, we never knew anything about it. Owen had surgery first time at six days old. He has four congenital heart defects and they did three of the four problems sorted out as best as they can, but they still had the problem with the aortic valve. Aortic valve. Until yeah. at nine months, they decided yeah. to do a second open heart. Nine months, heart. they decided, yeah, that it wasn't, uh, wasn't working and they did what's called the Ross procedure where they take the pulmonary, pulmonary valve. valve out and put it on the aortic side and then they replaced the pulmonary valve with a bovine valve. That was a really tough night for us. I remember our first question was, you know, what are his chances of survival? Is he going to survive? Is, is he going to make it? The best word to describe our feelings was we were scared. We didn't know what was going on. Hi, my name is Owen and I have an awesome heart. Today, Owen is a nine-year-old boy. He loves to play hockey and he doesn't feel or think of himself as somebody with medical issues or physical issues. He just lives a normal life. You know, sometimes someone says that they never would have guessed that I had heart problems. It's kind of because I act normal like everyone else. It's just a little part of me. We didn't really know what Owen's life was going to be like. It was very tough at the beginning. One of the biggest challenges that we had was that his left vocal cord nerve was severed on one of his surgeries. So he wasn't able to drink liquids because they would go straight to his lungs. Until he was four, he had a surgery that made our life a lot better. Other than that, it was just like raising any other kid. We got a video actually of his first time that he drank water without anything in it. That was incredible. That was a good big step. Our family's, I don't know, I thought pretty normal. Yeah, family of four, mum, dad, four. Logan, and Owen. We all play lots of sports. Owen's super competitive, pretty much everything. All the sports I like to play are hockey, soccer, football, golf, and tennis. I guess he just likes to win. It's his personality. So one time Owen was playing soccer and they finished the game and Owen starts crying. So I asked him, Owen, oh, what's happening? Why are you crying? You know, you guys just won. And he said, I can't breathe, mommy. I can't breathe. And I said, well, you know, when you can't breathe, you got to tell the coach to get you off the field. And he's like, mom, but if the coach takes me off the field, who's going to score all the goals? So that's how competitive he is. <laughs> I also like helping out the American Heart Association community by raising money for them. We first got involved with the American Heart Association at the school, actually. They were doing jump rope for heart. Owen uh, and Logan, they would go around the neighborhood knocking on doors and asking for donations. And they were super excited about it because they also know where it goes. The research that they do is unprecedented. They help nationwide. So many kids survive thanks to what they do. We usually like helping out at the American Heart Association so they can research more 
and they can save more people. So Owen and uh, um, Logan uh, a while back started a, a lemonade stand every summer and they basically do it to try to get funds for the American Heart Association and they spend hours on there just trying to sell lemonade. <laughs> They love it. Pretty much all Owen's idea, but we decided to do that to help kids like my brother so they can have a happy life. If I could say anything to the people that donate to the American Heart Service Association is thank you. The feeling of a parent knowing that uh, your kid is going to be okay, a thank you, it's never going to be enough. So thank you is not enough, but thank you. Thank you to all the people that are donating because it just means a lot because we can do more research and save more lives. Wow, <laughs> what an amazing, actually very beautiful story. Um, Owen has been such an inspiration to all of us this year, his story is a great reminder of why we've come together in an uncertain time to drive support for life-saving missions. I'd like to take the time to recognize and thank some of our top supporters for just that. Thank you to our sponsors, Artip Mills, Delta Dental of Colorado, AMR, Turner Construction, Coldwell Banker, Centura Health, HHS, UC Health, and Charles Schwab. We could not do this without your support. I would also like to thank Health One for their support in the AHA's doctor. It's been too long campaign. In fact, let's hear from them now. Please help me thank and celebrate the executive leadership team that led this charge with me this year. A special thanks to the executives with heart participants who have personally pledged to make a lasting impact by raising more than $5,000. Let's also recognize our core Vitae Society. These are the individuals who've made a large, meaningful uh, contribution to the American Heart Association. Thank you for your year round support. And let's recognize and applaud our top walkers this year. These individuals raised more than I would also like to take a moment to recognize the current standing of some of our top fundraising companies. Once again, congratulations to Charles Schwab for uh, taking the spot once again in the top fundraising company. The other top companies include U.S. Engineering, Centura Health, Hunter Douglas, and Allosource. But don't you worry, for those of you also with very competitive spirits, you'll have time to make donations through the end of the month and climb that leaderboard. We can't forget about the individuals who've been logging hours of physical activity over the last four weeks. Shout out, a huge shout out to Dinesh for taking first place. Also amazing jobs to Danae, Lori, Paula, and Rebecca for filling out the top five. We have one last award to give out today. I'd like to pass it over to Helen Drexler, CEO of Delta Dental of Colorado to announce this year's Life Smile Change Award winner. Thanks, Dion. At Delta Dental of Colorado, we understand that there is a strong connection between oral health and overall health. In fact, people with gum disease have nearly double the risk for heart disease as those with healthy gums. At Delta Dental, we like to say floss often. This year has presented new challenges to living a, health, a heart healthy life, which made education and support for lifestyle changes even that much more important. So when the American Heart Association approached Delta Dental about bringing back the Life Smile Change Award, try saying that four times fast, 
we were very excited to join forces and present a healthy lifestyle focused effort so that we could honor individuals who have committed to making really positive lifestyle changes. We received numerous nominations from throughout the community and from those nominations, Delta Dental and the American Heart Association employees chose our winner. And our winner is Brian Johnson. Brian is a husband, father, and a heart attack survivor. And he was nominated not just once, but four times by friends, family, and coworkers for this award. He has made it his job to change his habits and to eat healthy and reduce sodium and exercise consistently at the level his doctor and cardiac team has directed. Brian has made tremendous changes to his health and we hope that his champion being this champion of change will help you and others live healthier lives. I know he inspires me. Dion, back to you. Thank you, Helen. It's impossible to thank and recognize everyone we would like to see this, like to this year. We've asked for some help from our friends. Let's hear from them now. Hi, my name is Owen and I am a heart survivor. I wanted to thank all the people who are doing the heart walk this year. It means a lot to me. Thank you. Hi all, Kayla Hammond here from the AHA team. I have to say I feel very lucky that I have worked with some of the most wonderful people I have ever met over the last 365 days. Um, I wanted to use this time to extend my gratitude to a few of the amazing companies that I worked with. So in no specific order, huge thank you to Coldwell Banker, AMR, AT&T, uh, US Engineering, who's having their first heart walk ever and absolutely crushing it. Walgreens kicking off a Life is Why campaign with us this coming Sunday. Allosource and Hunter Douglas are both having their best year ever for heart walks. So thank you all. And then finally, and last but not least, I wanted to extend a special thank you to our friends at Centura Health for not only helping our community get through a pandemic over the last year, but also stepping up and being leaders for our community of survivors for heart walks. Um, this goes without saying, but we are all so, so grateful for you and your support to every person that has joined us for Heart Walk this year. Thank you all so much. We are so excited to see you out there today and are looking forward to another successful Heart Walk. Thank you. Okay. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Will Anderson. I'm a cardiologist and the new enterprise medical director for cardiovascular services for Centra Health. I just want to encourage everyone to get out and walk and support the American Heart Association. It is a tried and true organization and one that has been around for a long time. Their efforts are devoted to reducing the casualties from, uh, from heart disease, which is still the number one disease in the United States that, that takes the lives of Americans. So please support the American Heart Association. Uh, please get out and walk today. And thank you very much for your efforts. From all of us at the American Heart Association, we'd like to say thank you to our top walkers from SCL Health, Jeff Neeson, and from Charles Schwab, which includes Erin Amerlin, Shelly Phillips, and Nicole Hilliard. We appreciate your continued support of our mission. Thank you for all that you do for those affected by heart disease and stroke. Well, our 2021 Heart and Stroke Walk is nearly wrapped up. In a minute, I'm going to pass it over to Lisa Jacoba at GMR to kick off our activities. But first, I want to say one last thank you. The team at the AHA and I are so thankful for your continued support. We know it's been a tough year and we couldn't be here without you. I hope to see you at our in-person Cycle Nation on September 11th. Lisa, let's get it started. Great, thanks, Dion. Um, hello, everyone. I'm Lisa Jacoba, and I am the Chief Human Resources Officer for Global Medical Response, which is the parent company of AMR. 
We're a proud supporter of American Heart Association and we are excited to help you get started. We have some fun uh, pop-up activities planned for today. We have walking and yoga options available and would love to have you join us for one or a few of those. So whether you choose to move at home or join us at one of those pop-up activities, we truly appreciate your spending your morning with us and supporting the American Heart Association. Now let's start that countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 